Hello everybody, this is Flamebow5, and today we're going to be re reviewing two mods. Um, the audio, I'm just going to warn you, the audio in this video might be slightly off, meaning that I might be saying something, but in the video I might not be doing what I'm actually, what's corresponding to what I'm actually saying. So that's just a warning, um, but you sh still should be able to understand the video. Um, so the base, basic, well, I'm going to go over two mods, the, um, Coal to Diamonds mod, which also need gunpowder for you, get gunpowder from killing creepers, if you were unaware, just warning you. And then I think eight is how much. And then after that, I'll go into another mod. So these are the materials for the two mods I'm going to be showing you. Um, so let's get out the material, I mean the, um, GY items, I guess, the GUI items, so, that sounds, that sounds actually kind of funny. And let me actually grab some more coal, I forgot we're going to need coal for this. Let me show you this, okay, sorry for not preparing earlier. Anyway, so the, the, um, two mods I'm going to be showing you are, uh, craftable chain, and both these mods I made, Craftable Chain and uh, Coal to Diamonds. Now, diamonds are made of carbon. If you are unaware, um, they are made of carbon. Um, so, yeah, and so is coal. Coal is made of carbon as well. These do not stack. Just I'm ju I was just, these are too, I think these are too easy to, to obtain, and so that's why I was just trying to put in little things that make it, um, harder, you know, and so, uh, I came up with only being able to have one of these at a time. And that will smelt, and you will get something pretty awesome, but before that, I'm going to show you this. And you'll need two sixteen, so you'll need thirty-two for this. Um, so that would be twelve. So it takes twelve iron. So it takes half the amount of iron. Well, you know that sort of stuff. Okay. So the first thing is um, boots, and then you can make a helmet. Oop. And then you can make. Pants. Now, one glitch that I'm gonna mention is that um, you can craft like let you like let's say you could craft pants like this and that sort of thing that, because it's designed to for a certain number of iron bars to make an item, not for a certain configuration of iron bars. Okay, so, you, so we have a diamond here. Probably like, well, that's way too easy. But um, I agree, and in the next update, the coal will be replaced with coal blocks. I didn't add coal blocks, because I thought that'd be just annoying. So, yeah. Coal chunks are cooked into this. Yep. Now this is for people who don't don't want to use mods like Industrial Craft or there are probably other mods out there that do that. Maybe f there's probably like there's that um there's that other mod that's kind of I think taken over Industrial Craft. What is that? I think it's a mixture of Build Craft and uh, and a lot of add-ons of Build Craft and uh, Forestry. I think that's what's taken over what Industrial Craft kind of used to own. Um, so I'm just sure it's not as big now, but I think something, the one of that might be able to make something similar, but they pretty much just copied and that's for crap. That, that's just my opinion, but whatever, I'm getting distracted. Um, anyway, so I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this, um, mod review, and I hope you like the mod, and it, mods, and install the mods. Um, I'll probably put them on my Dropbox, um, um, if you guys want to know, I'll tell you now. If you don't want to know, you can just end the video now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna now be reviewing some of the other mods I use. Um, just quickly because I feel like it. Um, 
So this mod that I'm using right now is um, NEI, which is very similar to TMI. It's the upgraded. It's the uh, upgraded version of it. So it's a little better. You can search for items. It has more um, options. Um, they did not copy any code from TMI, so I don't think they ripped them off at all. And if just because I know a lot of people probably think that. Um, they added the ability to have separate monster spawners so you can spawn in a... This is great for map making. So that's part of the reason I love this is because then I don't have to go into... Um, uh, world edit to, to get the special spawners. Uh, you, if you didn't know, you know, monster spawners, you cannot um, just type in a command and get those. You actually have to go into these special editors and do all this work to get them. It's not simple. But with this, it just makes them simple, so you can just go and grab them. Really cool. For a second, I thought that was like an empty spawner. So what is going on? You can get pig spawners, though. So if that's the only spawner you can get, because by default, it's pig. So anyway, so that's that mod. I also use um, those two mods I just showed you. I don't, I'm not sure if I'll necessarily be using this one because I think it's too easy, but I made it just in case anyone wants to use this mod. Um, what else is it? What are other mods? Macro. This is my favorite mod. It allows you to use key bindings. Great for multiplayer. So you can like, um, so then you can say, take a key, and this is toggle downfall. So yeah, so it, it allows you to just take a key and turn it into a command. So I can just press P now, and toggles downfall. Press the end, toggles downfall again. Super easy. But what's another thing I use? Oh, I use uh, raise minimap in the corner. That's a really good one. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm actually going to say I'm going to title and uh, mods. So I use... Not enough item. Oh, I also use damage indicators. And timber. Oh, yeah. Damage indicators and the timber mod. So, yeah, those are two other ones I use. Um, timber mod doesn't work in multiplayer, though. I just use timber mod to make things easier. Um, if you know what timber mod is, then uh, then awesome. If you don't, you can look it up. If you know what the uh, damage indicator mod is, you can probably assume what it is. It's a, uh, it shows you in a little corner, in your corner. Uh, how much stuff something has. I can actually show you. So if I were to spawn an a monster, okay, oh. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let me spawn something. A little bit better. Alright, so an iron golem. Iron golem has 100 he out of 100 health. You can see in the corner. And then if I were to take, say, a, uh, a pig. I can see that. He has 10 out of 10. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching, I guess. I know that was kind of weird at the end, at what I just did, just randomly talking about mods. Um, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, so, uh, and if you like the video, can you, I hope you can take that, like, eighth of a second just to click the like button, or dislike button if you didn't like it, but I, I always say if you dislike it, then you should uh, tell me why you didn't like it. Tell me if you thought it was, if you thought it was like, annoying or it was too uh, distracting, anything like that, that might have been annoying. Uh, then please tell me in the comments, or if I talk too much, which I, I do, I talk a lot. I talk like really fast and a lot of stuff at once, it's hard for your brain to process and all that. Yeah, so anyway, so I was going to end the video a second ago, so yeah, I'll end the video. Okay, so, uh, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, so thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Um, I already said that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. I think I already said that. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll say it again. Alright. Okay. Bye. Oh, stupid sticky keys. <laughs>